What's up guys? It's been a little bit since I've uploaded on the channel, but I've got some content maybe coming your way here. Uh, we recently just picked up, actually tonight we just picked up uh, two, well, for lack of a better term, bush beaters. Or, uh, you know, shit beaters. We got, uh, I'm not really sure on the years of these at the moment or any information on them, but they were cheap. We're talking like under under twelve hundred dollars for both. So uh got Suzuki. Sidekick number one. A little bit rusty. Not terrible. Missing a few pieces, a little bit bashed up, but it's gonna get used exactly like it looks. So the top does come off of that. It is a five speed standard which is even better. Um, we're gonna be doing a little bit of work, mostly on this one tonight probably, taking the front fenders off, maybe getting a bash bar on the front or something, and maybe welding the rear diff. Um, but other than that, we've got another one way out here, which we've just got to, uh, which is a little bit newer, I believe. It's got some nicer tires on it. It's probably a little hard for you to see. It's a little dark right now. It's like 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. So, But uh, it's in nice condition, actually. It's got some good tires. And, you know, it's an automatic, so it's not, not that cool. But we'll get this one in tonight, probably just to cut the exhaust off. Uh, make it sound a little better. We do have an off-road event tomorrow, which we will... I will try to get some video from to make something for you guys to watch, but you know, it's a little bit hard sometimes to to video an event. You're not sure of how it's gonna go and what's gonna happen. I'm not really great at it yet. I need more practice. So that's where you guys come in. Comment, like, subscribe, keep it going. Alright guys, so we got the first tracker in the garage here. And she's a little bit rough. You can see inside in a few places and outside in a few places. So, got a little bit of sheet metal work we're gonna do. We already got a front fender off, some parts off already outside here. Mm -hmm. More added into the pile. Uh, I'm gonna set you guys up to do a time lapse. Watch this thing get torn apart, hopefully. All right, YouTubers. Not sure what I caught there as all the cameras died, but some serious progress has been made. Uh, looking a little bit at some snorkeling up here. Um, the exhaust will eventually also need to be snorkeled. Fenders are off, I think I've already been over that. Uh, front bumper, there's a little bit of a angle iron bumper there now in the way at least. I'll probably work in some protection to cover the rad there. Uh, this fender's off, and, you know, a nice hole exposed. We got the axles popped and the pumpkin off. I don't know if you guys can see that under there very well. And we're going to weld up the rear diff. Took the back bumper off, so it's just the factory support there. And, yeah, weld up the diff. I'll set you guys up. You can watch that. YouTubers uh, for now this guy is ready to go we're gonna be loading it up and we're gonna be heading out today uh, hopefully I'll catch a little bit of footage for you and see this thing get destroyed or maybe the other one get destroyed or something happen so stay tuned keep watching it's about to get <laughs> well guys Today turned out to be kind of a bust. Again, you're in the truck because of some wind noise, but 
uh, our 98 Suzuki wouldn't start. Uh, I drove on the trailer yesterday. Today, it wouldn't drive off. Fuel pump doesn't have any power for some reason. So we spent like two hours here trying to get it going, pulling the rear tail lights, hitting the fuel tank, uh, trying to trace down the wiring. We can't find the fuel pump relay or the main relay. I don't know. They're all a headache. They're all different. But uh, we may rip the old one here. Uh, I'm not sure what year it is again. But we may rip that around just to get you a little bit of video. Uh, we're going to try and get this new one, the 98, here up and running tonight and maybe come back tomorrow. So, it is what it is, guys. Stay tuned. We are testing out our welded differential and, well, the shitbox sidekick because the other one wouldn't start on the trailer. So enjoy. I got a little in-car footage. We're going to do a little out-of-car footage here. I'll try and show you guys what's up.
drag belly through it. All right, guys, so we're back from the pits. It's a different day. We're in the garage. We think we figured out the fuel pump problem. We're going to find out here right away. Um, and hopefully we'll go, go take them both to the pits here. Uh, just around here. We're not going to go on the run that was with everybody the other day, but we're going to go test them out at the pits here. And hopefully these will be like two new little side-by-sides to go with our Razor. So keep watching and we'll get to the excitement, trust me. All right, YouTubers, we made it out. The blue one is working. A little bit of wiring behind the tail light there was all messed up inside the plug. Once we got that fixed, uh, it fired right up. Had to prime it a few times, fire it right up. Since we're working all right, can't get two-wheel drive in it. Uh, black one over here, standard, working great. Automatic, gutless, 100% gutless, no doubt about that. It's not really, you know, it's gutless. You need four low, you need to be in low, and then it's nice and fun. But we're out here at the pits, just near our place, testing them out. So, uh, hopefully I'll have somebody recording some footage for you guys here, and we'll catch what's going on. All right, stay tuned. Tested them a little bit in the sand. We went to try and find some mud. Well, just found some. It's up there testing depth. I don't know what kind of depth we're looking at here, but deep it looks like a couple feet. No, just a foot. Let me just test. He'll test the whole way back, maybe. Ooh, it's a little deep over there. Yeah scoot off to the one side but I don't know that's uh it's an interesting predicament there 
It doesn't look like we're going to be making it through this. So stay tuned and see. All right, he's going to try it, guys. So <laughs> see what happens here. It's quite a deep hole. It looked like it was about two feet at one point. So best of luck to him. Oh shit! You made it! Oh shit! Got a little bit of steam coming from the front. You're there. You'll still drive out of there, no doubt. It's got Jeep hinges holding the hood on because it rusted off. <laughs> Check that out, guys. We're getting some tractor tires ready for the back here. 31 by 15 and a half. So we're gonna, we're gonna record putting one on here because you guys probably won't believe this. But this is how it's done. <laughs> some big ass bars. All right guys, watch this happen. Friggin' three hours later, guys. <laughs> so this one was a little bit more of a struggle than the last one, but it's on. Uh, next is inflating it with air, which is another adventure on its own. So stay tuned and watch it try and get filled with air. What's up, YouTubers? Another, another lovely day on the channel. It's, uh, you know, not too nice out, but it's nice enough to uh, go out and have some fun. Yeah, so we got the trackers ready, diffs welded, but we got stuck. Um, we just recovered a Toyota, and it was stuck pretty good. It almost flipped over, actually, so. Uh, but check it out. Uh, I'm going to try and record a bunch of video here. We're trying to hit the trails to make it to a place called Seddon's Corner. We live somewhere around Enola, Manitoba, so I don't know, somewhere around a 30 or 40k trail journey, and we're about 5k from home, so 25 kilometers more to go or so, and well, first time we got off the road, we're stuck. So I'll try and do my best to get some video for you guys. So this is where we're stuck. Slipped off the trail, because it's a little bit icy, into the ditch. And it's uh, a little bit deep, as you can see.
Well guys, I said I would get some video and we are about to go through some serious shit. So, I don't know if you can see that, but this is some serious shit. It's gonna drop off like about four feet behind that Toyota there, right where the guy's standing. Yeah, it's, it's pretty serious. Uh, we're gonna maybe watch this sidekick go first and watch it float away into the abyss and <laughs> then we'll go at her. I'm not gonna get any video of Wes because I gotta drive, so. <laughs> She died. There's a little bit of exhaust still flapping out of it. I think that's it, guys. She died in there. It's deep. All right. I know it's kind of windy, but I noticed I didn't have an outro while building this uh, sidekick video. So I thought I'd just update you and let you know what actually happened to them why we had to get dragged home. Waiting on doing. Sorry about the wind noise. It is very friggin' windy out right now. I'm trying to talk loud so you guys can hear me, but probably very doubtful. So, this guy here, right behind me, the 98 four-door, it uh, went out without a fuel cap. Got left at the gas station, so sucked up a bunch of fuel in the tank. It's the moment it got swamped, stopped running, and had to get dragged home. Uh, other than that, back windows don't work. None of the windows really work in it anymore. So um, that's why it's taped up there, you can see. But the black one here, she might have sucked up some water. They were both sucking water in the exhaust for some reason. They're not fully sealed or something yet. But she must have sucked up some water, hydrolocked a bit, and she jumped the timing. So we're waiting on some timing parts for this. Oh yeah, the 98 also swamped the starter, needs a starter. So it's fun of off-roading, right? This one needs timing. It's off a couple teeth. It ran for a little bit. Now it won't run at all. Haven't really tried it. So that's where they ended up, sitting here waiting for parts, just like everything else. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, everything you do helps.